Hey, it's a French student here, and today we're going to be having a coding session where I'll be creating a simple program that's going to be loading my CSV file, a file containing comments of rated values, which in this case is just some random names and then the ages of this person. So, what I'll be doing is I will create first a class called male and in this class we will have the attributes private name and private oh we need to tell what it is private string name and private int h and we'll just have a constructor having both the name and age of the male using this dot operator and let's see what we are going to need. We're just going to simply have a to get a method being able to get the name and get this h while using encapsulation. And uh, then I'm probably going to be overriding my to string method to just be printing the basic information. It's just keep the preset IntelliJ gives us. And if you want to know when I'm doing all these like um, shortcuts, I'm holding down. Alt insert, which allows me to get this menu. And I think on a Mac it would be um, command insert. Inside our main menu, inside our main and inside our public static void main, we're just first gonna create a file. File which equals a new file. And it's just gonna have the path name to our file, which in this case is gonna be a source source and then we have the file name which in this case is names.csv and we're just going to create a scanner object and we're going to call the input green it's going to be a new new scanner using our file and it's going to ask us to create a try patch block. And let's create a new set. So we're going to be using sets in this demonstration, which allow us to get some input where all the values are separate. And it also allows us to actually sort them in ways, but we'll go through that later. So first of all, we just create a set containing males, it's going to call it males, which equals a new, let's first just do a hash, let's do a tree set, oh, we need to do a new tree set, of course, there we go, and we are told that it's structure of all elements, so right now, it actually don't know how to sort these, which you would like need to fix, because a tree set is going to be sorting our mail. Well, that's the that's the point of a tree set. It's going to be sorting it some way, but it's confused because it actually don't know how to sort it. So we would like need to implement a comparable interface, which forces us to implement the method compare to which tell us how these objects are going to be sorted. And let's just first sort by hmm, how we would like to sort them. Let's actually have a look at how we're going to be writing it out. Right now we're just going to do mail. Let's actually just remove it. So we just do name and age. Yeah, that should be fine. So we would just be sorting. Let's just sort by Let's try both. We would like to first sort by like alphabetically on the name and then afterwards we'll be sorting on the H. So if we want to be sorting by the alphabetically, we will simply just do oh, we don't need to get name, we can actually just return our name attribute dot compare to o dot object 
and we actually need to tell it that we're going to be comparing it to mail itself and then we would need to let's just do the faster way we'd need to implement this one so now we'll be able to name return name dot compare to o dot get name or we need to dot name because we're actually inside the same class it's private we can access it inside the same class but i don't know i like get name it doesn't really matter in this case so now we don't have an error anymore because now it's able to sort these elements so what we would like to do is actually use our scanner to go while our input stream dot has next line we would like to get the next line it's going to be a string so string line equals input stream dot next line and then we would like to split it we're going to have a string array we're going to call it um lines this is not the best we shouldn't use names actually correct names so we're going to be looking at what are we actually going to have we have h or name and h so let's just call these uh, name and age which is going to be our line dot split and we're going to be splitting on the comma because our values are comma separated and then we would just like to add them to our tree set so we do males dot add new mail containing first the string name which is gonna be our name name and age at this first index and our age is gonna be a name and age at the first index and we'd actually do like to do integer dot pass int because right now it's a string so we would like to uh, to format it into an integer so let's make sure we have all the parentheses correct now no we need another one there we go and then we would just like to print our tree set so let's see if it works if i did everything correctly oh one thing we would probably need is actually to add because right now it's working correctly but it's just printing on one line and it's a bit confusing so we would like to add in our string that at the end of printing information we would like to add a new line which is written like this so now if we just run it again we should see that we get the names oh that's actually make it a bit better why are we actually let's let's have a look at what's actually going wrong here so right now we're getting the oh it's not wrong it's just how it looks it's not pretty but it's it's, it's actually because this yeah it's because we're printing a tree set directly so it's like a printing a, kind of like an array but Let's have a look at information. So we have the name, Aiden, Alexander, Benjamin, Daniel. As you can see, we actually have it correctly sorted by alphabetically order of the name. A, B, D, E, J, and so on. Dot W. So it works. So this is pretty much the simple basics of it. Creating a class, implementing the comparable, overriding compare to and explaining how we would like to compare it so let's try actually changing it so we're going to be sorting by the age so how we would do this is simply first getting integer h diff which is going to be our 
h minus my o dot get h. And right now, if we just sort it by this one, we would only get one of each h, kinda. Let's try it actually. This is showcase what's happened. It, it, yeah, let's just do it. So, and then we will just return h, h def. So now, as you can see, we get less because we're sorting by age, but because we're sorting by age, it's also only allowing unique ages to be here. Because if it have like anyone having the same age, which I had quite a few of to demonstrate this feature, then it would be removed. Because it's set, you're only allowed to have unique values. And now the value is no longer unique because it's comparing them by age, where previously it was comparing by name, and it would uh, remove all duplicate names, but I didn't have any. So what we would actually like to do instead is go in if our age diff equals zero, which means they're the same. Oh, equal, equals, of course, equals zero. We would like to just do like we did before, where we do name dot compare to oh dot dot get name, and we just then add return turn this if they're the same, and we just run the program again, and as you can see now, we get all the values where it's first sorted by name or first first sorted by age like with these one 11 and then it's sorted by alphabetically by name after so that's pretty much what i wanted to show today where we simply have a program reading a csv file putting this file into a set and then having a class implementing the comparable interface to define how we're going to be sorting inside our tree set so that's all i have for now if you liked this video, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.